Hi guys, so I'm continuing working with Dye Impress's new items that they brought to their website, mydyeimpress.com. I have this uh, really cute set, it's the Dye Impress K-Cup Carrier Warm Winter Wishes stamp and die set. So they did send these items free of charge from my review, and of course all opinions are my own. And any links out in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you're purchasing items. There are those links, <laughs> and as you know, with Diamond Press, it's an affiliate discount code. So if you use the code VCDP at checkout, you'll get 10% off your purchase. And again, that's my affiliate code. So I had shown this in the initial video where I kind of showed all the new sets that they had coming out here, um, but I didn't open it, so I want to show it to you guys right now. So we have the different dies that make something like this. I mean, how cute is that? I mean, honestly, if you can put whatever you want to put in there that fits in that little holder or just in this part without the insert, however you want to do that. Um, oh, this would be cute to hold like a bunch of tags or something. You guys. Um, but these are the dies that will create the little holder for you and everything at the insert and all that. So I'll just give them a quick measure, although obviously these will fit in the marquee uh, die and press die cutting machine. So it should kind of give you some idea of the sizing. Like this one's like four and three quarter inch die by three and a half. I'm looking at the metal because I think that's what people want to know. Four and an eighth by four, four and an eighth inch square basically. And then these other um, pieces are thinner and longer there. But that gives you an idea. Again, these outlines I had seen the first time, I'm like, ooh, those are going to cut out, you know, a stamp pro probably. So we have like a little cup here, like a little frosty coffee drink. Um, and then we have like a little Santa Claus tags, two different tags on here, and other ways to decorate. Um, so we'll look at that as far as this little circular portion. So basically a K-cup is like something that you use for coffee for a Keurig machine. Um, yeah, so I used to have the machine and actually my husband took a small one to his work and he has K-cups there and I think I might have some super expired ones here. So we'll, we'll see. Um, that way you can have an idea uh, what that looks like, you know. Uh, but it does have, you know, so you can cut out a little label if you want or like the tag and just fun ways to use um, the stamps and things that are in here. So um, again, just we're going to obviously go through this. You cut one front and bottom, uh, two sides, a handle times two, and we'll talk about that in a minute. You have the insert, and then if you want to do some stamping, all that stuff, just decorate it up, and then just pop it together. And it looks like the handle, as far as that, it's just nice and sturdy, right? So you have a front and a back that you're gluing together. Yeah, sorry, I always get so distracted by the lighting turning yellow. I don't know why it does that. It's just that time of the year where the lighting's changing and then this thing does whatever it wants but um uh, so you put it together and then you can stick two of them together that is very cute I love that idea I thought it was just the one side I suppose if you wanted just the one side you just put another back on this one you know once you've formed it but you can also stick them together like this if you're making a double carrier how cute is that oh my goodness um yeah so single and double as you can see there which of course I overlooked. <laughs> okay, so we have that. And then here we have all the different stamps. I mean, all the cute little coffee related things, little chocolate morsels here. Words cannot espresso how much I appreciate you. I mean, I love coffee pun sets. So this is really nice, lots of different sizes and just like fonts and everything. Thanks a latte, happy birthday to brew. You're my favorite human bean, of course. We have little marshmallows. All we need is love and hot cocoa. Happiness is a cup of coffee. Mrs. Claus Cafe, hot cocoa. Brew can do it. <laughs> How cute. Have a cup of cheer. And on this one, I mean, just a nice size. I'll give you a measurement of the little coffees that we'll have that kind of info. It's almost three inches tall. I would say two and three quarters maybe. And then this guy is like three and a half. And then our little Santa face. Christmas tree, fa la 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 latte <laughs> to and from hot cocoa and warm hugs you know sip hit sip hooray thanks a latte so again any time of year on those guys too and then you know you can cut all these different little labels for your k-cups or make them tags again and we have all those bits so what i'm gonna do is grab some paper and we will put this cutie together i'll be right back you know i'm gonna make this more of like a birthday kind of or whatever sentiment i want to use but um we're gonna go that way with it so more of like a coffee lovers kind of thing um, as opposed to more Christmassy so I have this really pretty paper I thought that's really cute so it's a nicer heavier weight paper of course and so I'm gonna skip this for now as far as making tags and things but we are gonna go down to this part and it says you're gonna want one front bottom front slash bottom right and I'm I want the dots to be what's visible and the little flower pattern can be on the inside so that's fine because as you can see you can see inside of it right so that'll be cute. Um, the handle, uh, sorry, the side is right here. It says times two, and it does say if you're using pattern paper, 
to cut one side with the pattern facing up and one side with the pattern facing down. So like I'll cut one like this and then the second one I'll turn my paper over and cut it like this. Okay, because then that'll be the one that's facing out, right? Um, so we have that. I guess it should go like this. <laughs> Uh, if you're really paying attention to your pattern, right? Mine's dots, it's not directional, but if yours is directional, just pay attention to how it's actually formed. So this is actually the bottom and it folds up like this. So if there's a direction that needs to be up, make sure it's facing up, <laughs> okay, in this area. Uh, that is what's going to curve around the front. This is at the bottom. Um, and then it says two handles, and it says if you're doing a double carrier, you're not going to need this for the single carrier, right? Like I said, you're going to cover the back so it looks nice and neat right so here you will need it for the second carrier right so you still need two pieces if you're gonna make two carriers are sticking together but if you're just finishing off the one you need two just for the one so either way you still need two of these I guess so two of that one and then um, our little insert and you know I'll cut the insert out of some craft card stuff a piece big enough for now I'll just grab a piece so I'll cut this one out of craft card stock okay and I'll be right back. Okay, just again while I'm cutting these guys out, um, I have one just like this. And then on the back of my paper, I'm going to turn the paper over and cut the other one like this. Okay? And that way when we go to put it together, that pink dot will be facing out instead of uh, the floral pattern. Okay? So I'll be right back. Okay. So we have our pieces for either side. I'm going to put these pieces to the side for now. And I did cut um, this so that I had one like this and I cut the other one on the back side because I want the flower pattern to show on the back just to have something different instead of the polka dot on both sides. So, you know, mix and match however that you like. And then, of course, this one. I am going to stamp right on this, though. So let me put this to the side and then we have our little insert. So what I'm going to do is set this up on my stamping platform and I'll be right back. Okay. So let's see here. Um, uh, have a coach here. Thanks, Latte. Happy birthday to Brew. I'm gonna put that one on here. And I'm eyeballing this so I can see that there's like a score line right here and like where the top score line is. So I'm just gonna place it. Now we could have stamped this first and then taken our die. And again, I have the words up like this because when we fold it over, that's gonna be up at the top. Okay, so. <laughs> Let me get this, some brown ink, just to keep in that pretty kind of shabby chic colorway. Again, these are um, acrylic stamps, so just some nice even pressure. If you squish, squish, squish really hard, you might get some ghosting, so you don't have to squeeze too hard. <laughs> okay, just nice even pressure. Let me put this away, I'll be right back. I have my insert over here, but with all these, on step three, it's just saying, to um, basically fold these things. So we have our bottom and I'm scoring towards the inside, of course. I'll just turn it over because it makes it easier. And this part goes up like this. And then this part is gonna curve in, oopsie, on the score line right here. And if you would like to use your scoring tool, of course, we can do that. So that one's all folded up. And then this guy, it's just a little reinforcement on your handle, I suppose. It says to fold it in, so I'm just doing that just to get it started. Again, I just want the back one to be a little bit different from the one in the front. So it's going to be something like that. I don't know if that's going to glue up or just around or how that works for now. But I'll leave them just like that. And then these guys, the side pieces, it looks like they just have the tabs on the back sides. And the front, sorry, because the bottom tab is on this piece here. So I'll fold this, both of these the same way. Okay, I'll be right okay, back. We have all the scoring done there. And basically they're just saying to um, turn over your base piece and put a little glue. It says apply adhesive to backside of front and bottom, which is this guy, right? Because it is the front and the bottom. Um, and a little bit of glue on the side pieces and then add it to the back of that front piece. So again, this is going to be my front with the little polka dots. So I'm going to do it just like it shows in the picture. I'm going to turn that over. And Sorry, so then uh, this guy, we're going to put glue, it says on the back, which is basically this side, right? Because this is the front, so on this side. And we're going to pop this like that. 
Okay, so it seems a little counterintuitive right now, but it'll make sense in a minute. So put glue on that tab. And I'm just going to glue this here. And again, I picked it up because I always like to kind of see what's going on, make sure everything's set up nice. So there's that. Back side of this, back side of that. But when you turn it around, it's basically the front, 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 right? And then these side pieces. So again, you had put the glue here. So all we're going to do is put those on there. And as you can see, they're pretty much notched out for each other a little bit. A little bit out to the side, but that's okay. So I'm going to put this here and put this down to the corner, meeting up on the very edge of the this die cut. And again, I always like to turn it over, just make sure that looks pretty good. And same thing for this side. Sorry, I thought I heard my sun coming down. Okay. There you go. And again, just lining it up like I always do, making sure it's not being impeded or anything. It's right on the corner or side. Sorry, so I'm just going to hold that for a second. And then we're going to take this piece now. Again, for me, I wanted the back piece to be different, but you could have had it like this too. I just thought, nah, it should be something different. So we're just going to take this. And then these little flaps, we're just going to glue them together, I suppose. You can leave them alone, free floating. It's just going to give you a little extra. Um, umph right to your little handle so I'm gonna put a little glue on it why not so uh, what we're gonna do is just place that here to cover up those seams that we just made basically and you know I'll put that on there I'll take a quick look on the front to make sure it's lined up pretty nicely it looks great I'll turn it back on the back so we were working on the back of the front piece this whole time right that's all we're doing here. And it did show to put a little glue on that flap, so we're good. <laughs> we're good to go on that one. And so basically all we're going to do is turn this over. This is step five. And we have all these little flaps, right? And if you fold, it's going to be something like this. I mean, if you put it together, you can pretty much see that. How cute. That's what I'm saying. Oh my gosh, you guys. So cute. Okay. Um... What they're recommending is to put the glue on these bottom tabs first. So like this one and the other one, but you can do them one at a time if that's easier for you. Basically, we're going to bring this up. Look how crisp, like, oh, yeah, I love it. I love the construction of this. It just looks so nice and like right on, you know. That's the beauty of having a die. I'm just pushing down against my surface so those make connection a little better. I can bring this inside already. Look at that. And then in the front, what we're going to do is put glue on this tab. I usually put it right in the very close to the edge so that that holds nicely. And then they want you to put glue on the very inside of this last little tab here. So if you bring it in, like that, and bring this down. So you can do that all in one fell swoop, just checking it out, make sure your glue looks nice, edge to edge. Maybe bring it here, lay it down, give it a squish. You guys, this is adorable. <laughs> I mean, you're pretty much done. If you want to use the insert or don't use the insert, I mean, you know, you can put little treats in here, it doesn't have to be a cake cup. Uh, I'm just getting it centered there. But let's go ahead and finish it off that way so you can see what that looks like. But look how cute and the inside looks really nice. So let's pop this guy. And this was part of, I think, step three or so. Just folding it. And you can just pop this in. I mean, you can glue it down too if you would like or don't have to. But either way, you know, pop that in there. Oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> how cute is this? Just trying to clear that one in there. That is adorable. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I want to stamp um, the coffee mug. Or this one. Um, ooh, you know what? We can stamp either one. I was going to do this guy. And it's just going to be the little decoration in the back. So let me grab some papers and things for that. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my little guy here. And I'm just going to... Use a little hybrid ink and I'll probably do a little coloring. It's very 
like new age art kind of graphic kind of art you know the way it's like sketched very cute because I could have done that in brown ink too so I'm gonna let that uh, set up for a minute and you know while I have this out maybe I will stamp you know in the meantime I did go look for a k-cup and I don't have any <laughs> sorry um, I'm gonna do the sip sip hooray and I'll just stamp it in like uh, pink kind of ink okay and I'll be back and while I'm at it um, I just stamped that I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp like a little heart on here too so I move this off of here and I'll stamp that in the same black ink before I do any coloring so I'll have that Yeah, and I'll let that dry before we do our coloring, okay? I'll okay, back. guys, so just to do a little something with this one, I'm just going to take a very light gray. You should do, like, light blue. Actually, that's a little bit darker than I would like. Let me Sorry, grab a different I'm just going to take a little bit of something just to add a little dimension. I'm going to color this, so I'm not going to spend too much time on that one. Just on the very edges, a little gray. And I think I'm going to make the cup itself, like, a pink. I have rose light, pink light. Oh, that's from somewhere else. So let's use rose mixing up my uh, my markers so I'm just doing a little bit and then I'm just using light and medium a little bit there again leaving a lot of the edge there and I'll bring over the light again just to bring it all the way through color that in and then our little heart can be, let's see how pink light looks like. I'm just mixing now pink light and, and rose colors. And that one just to make it a little bit different. And that'll be that. So I'll run these through with the dyes. So that guy can be run through like that. And then we'll make a little tag with this one. And I'm just eyeballing that. You can see that it just kind of fit right in there. Of course, we'll put some tape so those don't move. And I'll be right back. Guys. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to run this one one more time just with a, the pink paper on the um, side that has like the little flowers just to echo that again. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So we'll bring this little sweetie back. Let me give you a good measurement before I put it all together. Um, just from this area here, it is like three and a quarter inches tall to just under two and a half inches wide there. I'm assuming it's a square. Yeah. So this base is um, just under two and a half inches. Sorry. And of course you can either use the insert. You don't have to use the insert. It does say to add your little, um, tags and then just stick them on here with this kind of up like this. So that gives you like a little bit of, um, reinforcement there and so what I'm going to do to finish this off those you can place this on here and you can just glue it straight down or pop it up if you would like and I'm so sorry I don't have a cake up that is too funny um, I had bought the original machine back in the day when they were still doing like infomercial type things but uh, now I've just gone to a point and doing crafts again you know because everybody here drinks coffee so there we go um, let's do that and this together a little beige or brownish kind of stuff and I'm just gonna tie this on here really cute um, and then again I just did an idea that's not Christmas related so you have that uh, thanks for watching guys thank you so much Diane Presser sending these items for review I'm gonna just put that on here so I can hold it down with my little tie I think that'd be good I have some images coming up. I'll have the links in the description box. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Okay, bye now. Sorry, I'm just trying to get my little tie here. I'll straighten that out because it's too short on one side, too long on the other. All right, guys. I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.